Hey crafty friends, I know I'm a little bit late posting this video, but I just finished week two of my self letter love letter challenge and I wanted to show you what that looks like in my traveler's notebook. So um, once again, I just got this one from, um, this is from Crate Paper Journal Studio and then I added on this tassel that was sent to me from a pen pal. And then inside of it I have this one and then I do have a blank journal in case I decide to use that, which is, right now it's looking like I won't need a whole nother one. So, if you want to check out my um, last video, you can see all of the um, last week's entries. And I do kind of set it up for myself before I start writing, just to make it a little bit easier. So, um, for week two, everything was already put in here for me. And I just had to fill it in with the writing as I get to the days. So, um, there was a little bit of a divider for week two. So, I just put a little tag in here and then I added a Polaroid of myself. I don't normally take pictures of myself, so I'm trying to like make that um, like part of the challenge to include pictures of myself and to um, take more pictures of myself. So day number eight, which would be day number one of week two, was on um, self-esteem. So I just added this little clip in and then also put a picture of myself. This was the day after I got my hair done, so I took this picture on actual day eight so I just included that and then I have a cluster here at the bottom from the Maggie Holmes sticker sheet and then at the top I kept it really simple and I just added some washi tape and then put remember this um, which is from I think it's from along the way uh, sticker sheet number nine was insecurities and then down here at the bottom I used the open book collection um, just the stickers and added a little cluster so the next one was fears and I just made a um, banner using the carousel sticky notes and stitched them together and did that at the top. And then this one, both pages are pretty writing heavy for me. Um, I don't know, I guess I was just feeling pretty deep both of those days and I felt like there was a lot that I needed to write. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wrote about how for everybody, I think that all fears kind of root from the same general feel, fear of failure and not being good enough um, so I kind of wrote my own little narrative about that and how it's affected my life and then um, kind of the same thing with confidence I just wrote about how it's kind of a struggle for everybody but whenever our confidence is grounded in um, our identity and who we are in Christ and um, more deep things rather than materialistic things of the world that's when we can truly shine and show confidence and then at the bottom I just did some washi tape um, some hand lettering and these are from the carousel sticker sheet so I did have like a little bit of um, a page in between these because I didn't want to write on the back of this one since there was like I don't know I guess there was just like a lot going on and with the lace and stuff I just wanted there to be like an in-between page so I included a picture of myself and then did some embellishing and then on this one it's just kind of like another divider page so I added some tool, and then um, this is a cut apart from the La La Love collection. So on this page, this page was, um, so this is day 12 now, and day 12 was weaknesses. And um, one of my, I feel like my biggest weaknesses is always like people say that I'm too sweet or too nice. So I thought it'd be funny if I included like a bunch of like treats and stuff on this page. So I have ice cream and cake and like fruit and stuff along it. And then I just wrote about how that's, affected me and how I want to like change the game for myself with that and how I believe that that can also be used as a strength. So day number 13 was about your strengths and um, for me that's just kind of like the habits that I make for myself and things that I want to get better at. And then everything on this page, the stickers are from Open Book, the um, crosses are from Illustrated Faith, and then this is from an Amy Tangerine collection and it's like a wood veneer that has paint on the top of it and then um, all of these stickers that you see on this page are from um, the Dear Lizzie I believe it's Stay Colorful collection let me see I have it right here yeah so this is from the Stay Colorful collection and it's all stickers so this was the last day it was day 14 and this one was quirks I didn't really have a lot to say so I included a picture at the bottom that I took this was an older picture um, and then I did some embellishing this is all from the gather collection and mostly the sticker sheet and then um, I added a flower and then this little button is from heart day collection 
And then um, I'm gonna be doing this on all of the pages, just kind of like writing an overall reflection on the week, how I feel about the challenge, and then having a divider going into the next week. So this will be week three. Uh, as you can see, it's all blank. So if you wanna see how I set myself up for success by pre-decorating the pages and embellishing it beforehand, um, you can check out the next video after this one that I'll be posting and it'll have a little bit more um, of the process video of me decorating it and um, it'll probably have a little bit of writing but not too much just kind of like kind of setting myself up with the day numbers and what the prompt is so yeah thank you guys for watching I hope that you're also participating in the challenge and if you are not I hope you feel inspired to do so and yeah thanks guys bye